Hey guys, I'm Sarah. Every week I come through hundreds of DIY videos preparing projects for our weekly maker show, Make or Break. Along the way, I find some good ones and some great ones. And right now, I'm gonna share them with you. This is Sarah's top five DIY entertainment centers. All right, let's go. Number five is 731 Woodworks. Matt gets our listicle started off today with this custom DIY entertainment center. He explains what his plan is and then jumps into making his cuts for the cabinet carcass. Now he chose sanded birch plywood for the majority of this project and even though this one sheet cost about 50 bucks, that's the only sheet you'll need to buy for this build. He does use some 1x6 boards ripped down for the face frame and then he adds some cove molding inside the end frames that really make this look like a high end piece. Molly and Dylan from Woodbrew are number four. Not only are these two one of the cutest couples ever, but they also build some of the coolest DIY projects together. This DIY media center with a rustic vibe and sliding barn doors is no exception. Using about $250 worth of materials, the DIY duo wastes no time working through their cut list on the table saw. Once all of their pieces were cut, they work through making the doors, side panels, frame, shelves, and base. Then they prep the lumber for the top, using biscuits and glue to keep it together. Next was to assemble the rest of the piece. Once they added some paint, attached the custom hardware, they were ready to sit back, relax, and enjoy their new entertainment center. All right, number three is the Villa Man. So this entire project came to be all because Villa got a new sound system and he wanted an entertainment stand to go with it. Isn't that what everyone does when you get a new piece of tech? Like you make it, no? Oh, weird. Anyway, he began this build with some unfinished butcher block. He cut the blocks down to size and then clamped two of them together so that he could perfectly drill matching holes through both pieces where pipes would eventually go. He stained them with this really pretty dark stain and after they dried, he assembled the one inch galvanized pipes. He put all the pieces together and this was done. This is so cool and so simple, I love it. Number two is April Wilkerson with this TV stand slash media console. She made this entire piece with just three sheets of plywood. Now she did want part of this build to look like walnut, so to keep this project cheap, she used walnut veneer and walnut veneer banding. She built the outside structures first and then added the walnut shelves and the bottom pieces. I really like that she used these hinges that countersink into the doors, and I don't know why, but I've always liked these. She used the same walnut looking piece to make these fun oversized accents that double as door handles, and then added the center shelves. This is a simple build, but it still looks amazing. Coming in at number one is Shara Woodshop Diaries. Okay, this one is a big entertainment center that follows a more traditional style, complete with crown molding and plenty of storage and shelves. Shara built this in three main segments so that she could easily transport it to her parents' house. She built the two side carcasses first and then the center cabinet. Once she had all three of her segments built, complete with face frames and fancy moldings, which these extra steps really make this project come together. She adds the shelves, doors, and then gets it to her parents' house to put it all together in its new home. Shara, this is sweet. I love the traditional look and the extra storage that this build provides. All right guys, do me a favor and like this video. And if you have not already subscribed, please go do that now and then hit the bell so you don't miss any of the shows that come out during the week. We'll see you then.